If you've ever been to Asia, you may have noticed that their bread is quite different from elsewhere. Why is bread in Asia so sweet and soft? Because Asians are so soft and fluffy and sweet. <laughs> then how do they make it so pillowy? I will combine bread flour, rice flour, sugar, salt in this bowl. Hi. 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 No, no, no. <laughs> so where are you taking me today, Yoyo? I'm taking you to different bakeries yeah. and we're going to buy some breads and we're going to try it out in office. Good? Yeah, good. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. That's and obviously awesome. she's taking the French colleague to try the bread. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm obsessed about bread. I'm very, uh, very French in that way. So I've seen some French stuff over here. Oh, they have a Mexican custard bun. Oh, let's do the Hokkaido milk bun, no? Yeah. Chestnut. Do you think it's like stuffed with chestnut or what? It's a huge generalization to say all Asian breads are sweeter, softer, lighter, fluffier. It's not true. This is Kat. She wrote a book about Asian baking and runs an online baking group, Subtle Asian Kitchen. Asian breads can have a multitude of flavors. It, it could be sweet, it could be savory, it could be a little bit sour all at once. But yes, if you think Asian bakery bread, it's milk bread, it's an anpan, it's a shokupan, it's a chigiri bread, right? It's a softer, sweeter, lighter bread that we would think of. This is uh, the bread we buy from Asian bakery. And this one we buy from a Western bakery. And this is actually, we find a Asian sausage bun, a bread, and this is a sausage roll, so I, we think it would be a good comparison. Wow. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm. It's a sweet one. Mm. Mm. It reminds me of brioche. It's basically brioche on the Western term. Local bread, mostly we call it sweet bun. Sweet bun, the sugar level, the content is higher compared to the like Western bread. And how did this happen? I really feel that the purpose is different between the Western and the Asian breads. And I feel that in the Western world, bread is more of a staple. So that's why you get your bread that are drier with a bit of a saltier crumb, right? Because they're used like staples, like rice and noodles in Asia. For me these days, when I think of Asian bakery bread, it's like siu ye, like at midnight when I really want a snack, I really crave that Chinese hot dog bun. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't have to be very satiating. So that's why it could be like sweet, light and fluffy and soft. So in France, we have like two categories. We have like bread, and then you have all this category of sweet bread, bread, I would say, like brioche. For some reason in my mind, but maybe it's just me, I never consider those as bread. I mean, yes, it's technically bread, but, but it's more like pastry, pastry. You know? So bread should not be sweet to, to me. When you say, oh, I'm gonna buy some bread, if the person show up with some brioche, they'll be like, F you. <laughs> Um, we didn't really have this big relationship with bread. But for us, you know, growing up, it's all about having noodles and congee and rice. And bread was more of a treat. It's not your full meal. It's something that you savor as a treat. So soft and feathery and it has a bit of sweetness and it has the ube flavor. I can eat it by itself. Whenever my mom was able to go out to Chinatown and bring home the Asian bakery goodies, she'd bring home like a huge bag so then my dad can have it for breakfast. I can have it as a snack when I come home from school. To get the soft, fluffy texture, bakers use an age-old baking trick. It is a wonderful method. It's been around for centuries. They call it Tangzhong or Yudani method. I will combine bread flour, rice flour, sugar, salt in this bowl. Then I will add in the hot water. Then I will mix well. So this is the Tangzhong that we make. So transfer to the bowl after rest overnight. So now we add in. Now it will combine. The bread with tangzhong and the bread without tangzhong is different. You will see the texture is like It has a bubble, it's very small, very fine, and very even. That's how it's Bakers believe that by pre-cooking a portion of the flour, the bread becomes denser and stays soft longer. But it's not a method that's really been studied by scientists. Nope. So there's no scientific documentation on the tao mian. <laughs> this method has not been well studied scientifically. 
although it has been practiced in many, many parts of the, of the world, I believe. Hi, my name is Zhou Weibiao, and I'm a professor at the National University of Singapore. So would you call yourself a bread enthusiast? <laughs> yes, I, I can, because I like a bread. He's a food scientist, and he loves bread. The best person we know to tell us exactly how the Tangzhong method works. Uh, in general, we actually understand the principle quite well. During the dough making, you make a, a gluten network, which is holding the bread together. If you have a very strong gluten network, in general, you have a harder texture. And then if you have a weaker one, then it becomes softer. And oriental bread, in general, have a lower amount of a protein. The lower the protein level, the softer the bread becomes. When the starch is pre-gelatinized, they actually capable of absorbing a lot of water compared to non-gelatinized flour. Now when you put some small amount of tang mian into your ingredients, you put it into a lot more water compared to without it. Inevitably, your final product has a high amount of moisture. Now this high amount of moisture responsible for this general soft texture. Our food preference is very interesting. As a consumer, we are influenced by our early life experience. We grew up eating all this like soft bread since we were young. So convenient, it's everywhere. You can get it very easily. It's easy to eat than the Western bread because it's soft. It's like melt in your mouth and you can like finish it within minutes. Straight out of the oven, like you can enjoy this. Like my son just ate a piece this big. It's addicting. The smell, it'll make your kitchen smell so good. The bread smells so good. He'll, he literally came home and was like, Mmm, bread. It's like a pillow. You want to sleep on it. Would you sleep on a baguette? No. no. <laughs> but you would sleep on this. Hi, I'm Jessica, the producer of the video. Uh, I wanted to do a video about Asian bakery bread because I've always loved eating sweet buns. Uh, you can find these bakeries everywhere. So I will always eat a bun on the way to school. But as a millennial, I also love my avocado and sourdough toast. So of course, I wanted to find out more about the differences in Asian and Western bread culture. Tell us what's your favorite type of bread in the comments below. 